Welcome back to Automotive Solutions. Uh, I've got a um, test I'm going to try on this brake caliper. Uh, it's got pretty rusty uh, bleed nipples on it. It's an old scrap caliper anyway, but I was intrigued by the um, glow plug removal tool <coughs> to see whether this, this is the Sykes one, this was capable of um, removing glow plugs without shearing them off. So I'm going to give it a go. Uh, this one here is pretty crusty. I'm just going to run the uh, wire brush over it. Get rid of the worst of the corrosion around it. I haven't heated it, tried it with a spanner or anything, but it's rusting to the point where the, uh, the hex on it is starting to deform with the rust. Just have a little pick around it. Get rid of the worst of it. Now this is an 11 mil, and I haven't got an 11 mil impact in a quarter drive, so I'm just going to have to use a conventional deep chrome socket. See where that takes us. Give it a little squirt of the juice. See if that does anything. I will try with a spanner first. Don't want to too much on it. That is a lot of force. That will shear. I've experienced it before, and that is going to shear. So I'm going to start with the uh, with the Sykes gun here. Uh, I've got it set. I think it's already set. Oh, there's four speeds on here. For uh, sorry, not <coughs> four speed, not speeds, but uh, torque settings. I think the maximum torque is about 40 newton meters on here. Sorry if that camera's not picking it up, but there's four settings on there. I've got it on number two. We'll give it a little spin, see what happens. Oh wow. There we go. Straight out. Happy with that. Pretty good. There's another one here. I think I managed to free off earlier when I was trying it, but there's one more. I'll turn the caliper around. Turn you around a little bit. We've got one here, as you can see, for some reason the top sheared off of it. I'll just put a spanner on that. Now that is shifting the vice. You can see everything's moving. That's not going anywhere. So I'll do the same with that. Give that a little pick. Get rid of the rust around it. A little squirt of magic juice. I use Unitec D-Block oil. Had great success with that. This time I'm going to start. I'm going to turn it down to number one, which I'd imagine. There you go, on the side there. That's 10 newton meters. Well, I must have been putting 60, 70 newton meters on my spanner there, pushing pretty hard. So here we go. This is number one setting on something that I can't undo. See what happens. Nothing on number one, nothing moving there. I know you're supposed to leave it on a bit longer. Let's try. Let's go for number two. Shifting that either. Go number three, 30 newton meters. Step 
my compressor catch up. It's a bit of an old 1970s special. Doesn't really keep up, even with this little gun it struggles. But these ones, amazing. Seen worse, but that felt like it was going to shear by hand. Change it. I'm going to change it to number four for the last try. So that's number four, 40 newton meters. So let the compressor finish off, and then we'll give it a, a minute or so on number four. Okay, compressor's built up. Let's go 40 newton meters. Here we go. Bingo. She is out. Well, I think if I tried using a normal wrench, I'd end up heating up messing around for ages, possibly shearing them off. So that is going to be my go-to tool for uh, rather rusty bleed nibbles in the future. Happy with that, that's good. Let's uh, see if some of you guys want to try it out and see how you get on. Or let us know your favourite tricks for removing. But having sheared a few off in the past, I'm not really... Uh, I'm not really liking to uh, change calipers for people just because I've uh, managed to shear one of these off because they've been rusted. So if that saves a lot of hassle, that's good news. Uh, if you're out of interest, this uh, caliper is from a 10 year old London taxi. Um, can't say if it's original or not, but it's all pretty, pretty crusty in there. Possibly original, I couldn't tell you, I don't know the history of the vehicle on this one. Um, but if it is, they've probably been, brakes probably been bled a couple of times in its past. Um, years ago, the old taxis were, brakes were all renewed every year. They would have had to have been bled, cleaned out the mass cylinders, but times have changed. It's not quite as strict these days, so the owners tend to, uh, get away with having to do a bit less. But there we go. Hopefully, uh, I found it interesting and, uh, catch you again. If you like this, hit like. Bye now.